market that I am. So for him, let me sit there and say that the market of beast is is um sin breaking the most signs of All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles, bishops of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And um, I was actually uh, catching up on videos, and uh, the first video I watched was. Uh, the elder brother, Shalawam Amawan Kabar, he was uh, doing a response video to the knuckleheads, you know, that uh, keep speaking about uh, we're in the new covenant. The new covenant, all right, is not activated yet. And it will be. We're looking forward to it. We're looking forward for the Lord to activate the new covenant. But prophecies has to be fulfilled first, you know. Prophecies has has to be fulfilled first because it doesn't make sense. All right, to say we're in a new covenant and we don't even have change of bodies yet. All right, we don't have the laws written in our inward parts yet. Okay, so you know, for those out there of the whole four elect that tune into the show, Shalom to your few sisters as well, to your bros, Shalom, you know, and be beware, beware, man. I put a post. Of the elder brother, uh, a video, and I put in the caption uh, as far as the post here on YouTube. You know, beware of those demons, man. You know, these dudes want attention. You know, that dude of war from Mississippi. It's like you want attention. You know, how about you just teach the word? You know, but you call yourself thinking that you're going to shut down the Lord's men. You're going to change the doctrine. Listen, it's never going to work. So anyway, but they got to do what they got to do. All right. That's the light the Lord gave to them through Satan. And they got to do what they got to do. All right. And they're getting shown up right now because brothers are doing responses and bringing out even more points. While we're not in the new covenant yet, but we will be. All right. After prophecy is fulfilled, man. And I want to actually go into that. Uh, another video I was watching uh, the Bishop uh, Elder Manadizak and um, he was going in on a video you know with uh, you know Nate Satan you know who uh, is against the MOTB but I guess far as now because he said the video could be old but now he's might be uh, you know damage control when it comes to this MOTB because it's so evident of what the MOTB is, all right? In the scriptures of Revelation 13, 16, he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or in his forehead. That word mark goes into the Greek word karagma, all right? And when you go into the word karagma, go into the root word, karax, okay? Look these things up for yourself. Do your research, all right? Do your research because you know, anyone the scriptures speak on for anyone that takes that mark, you know, because that's that's something I really never hear them go into. And I'm going to bring it out now. You know, I'm a little probably everywhere. But, hey, you know, I wanted to do this lesson on this, which you see behind you with Kyle Slobs, because uh, Dabu just brought this report out. But um, let's go here real quick, because, you know, they don't really talk about this. What about these scriptures here when it comes to the MOTB? Right. What about these scriptures? Because if the MOTB is sin, how in the hell, all right, can we repent? When the Lord said there's no repentance, all right, when you take that MOTB. And we're going to read it. This is Revelations chapter 14 and uh, verse 8. It says, and there followed another angel saying Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Right? It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark, the same mark there that's in Revelation 13 16. And matter of fact, I want to look it up. I want to see what that mark is right there. Let's look that up. Or my money in the blue letter. 
Right. Karagma is the same word there that's in Revelation 13, 16. For the word mark, it's the same Greek word there, karagma. Karagma. All right. So let me go back and let's read it again. Revelations chapter 14, verse 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. That great city, because she made all nations, see, all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. It says, and the third angel, uh, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, karagma, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. It says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Now, let's read this scripture here. Revelation 15 and 1. Right? Because how you get around that? The Lord said, if anyone received that mark in his forehead or in his hand, they shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Lord's indignation. Meaning the most high's righteous anger is going to be poured out on you. And he's going to destroy you. He's going to destroy you in that fire. All right. So how could it be sin? That means that there will be no elect. There will be no one that gets delivered from the mark. Because it's sin. According to IUIC. Now, you know, like I said, I'm just bobbing off the Elder Bishop uh, video. Which he just did. He just loaded it up like maybe 10 minutes ago. And uh, he, he said himself too The video could be old You know Because I think IUIC is tap dancing now And uh, doing damage control You know I don't. I, I can't even remember what they saying now About the MOTB Whether they whether they acting like they for it now Always been for it But either way This man been against it for many years He even called us uh, Conspiracy theorists You know He called us bug outs man You know so let's continue, right? This is Revelation 15 and 1. And I saw another another angel. Excuse me. It says, And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. Seven last plagues, excuse me. For in them filled up the wrath of the Most High. Right? And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, over his image, over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Most High. And it says, and they sung the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb, saying, great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. It says, just and true, are, are thy ways thou king of the saints so here it is this is where john the revelator he actually saw those that got the victory over the mark and over his image all right so who those guys that got the victory that's the elect that's those who did not take the karate so it can't be something well excuse me it can't be sin it's an actual item Okay, it's an actual device. It's a physical thing. Okay? It's a physical thing. And yes, it is sin. Because it transgressed the law of the Most High. Okay? But it's a physical mark. That's the point. So now, um, I want to go into this covenant thing. And let's read here. And I just want to tap on it real quick in this lesson. And then I'm going to get to the news. Right, this is uh the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, and uh, start at verse 7. All right, it says, For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he say, Behold, the days come, say of the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. 
because they continue not in my covenant and I regarded them not say of the Lord okay this is uh, verse 10 it says for this it says for this the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days say of the Lord you gotta bear with me y'all so like you I'm driving a little bit of traffic out here uh Right, it says, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. So the Lord said he will write. Let me, let's read this again. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel, Yasha Allah, after those days. It says, I will put my laws into their minds. See, it says after those days, man. All right, because prophecy has to be fulfilled. We still haven't gotten through Jacob's trouble. All right, and fully, the MOTB haven't fully, all right, hit the the level of, um, of, of, of the prophecy as it's supposed to. All right, yeah, people around the world, Sweden, China, you know, and other places, maybe India, you know, people are taking this uh, MOTB, but it has to hit Babylon, okay? And it has to come on onto a level where your neighbor, all right, where it's commercialized, your neighbor has it, you know, and it's made a big deal. That's why this year, uh, you know, the, the plans is, especially this weekend, got it also too, going back to this guy, Kyle Slobs, uh, this weekend, they have in their, um, they're having their uh world world meeting all right over the weekend so while you at home chilling watching the game you know watching the fights and uh you know saturday morning you know chilling up with your with your boo you know or whatever you know taking care of business whatever relaxing whatever you're doing they're gonna be making plans all right with the world leaders to to, to make it more action you know to make things work according to their favor, according to their NWO, all right? They're changing the whole system, you know? And these dumb dudes out here is over here arguing about being in the new covenant. You dudes are freaking retarded, man. Straight up, stupid, slow belly, retarded, man. You know? All over because of pride, all right? Anybody that believed that garbage, because the scriptures speak otherwise, and I'm breaking it down. These are the questions you just got to ask yourself. Damn, is the laws in my inward part of my body yet? If that's the case, then why come all Israel is still fucked up? You know, <clears throat> how come two thirds, the Lord, the Lord haven't even destroyed two thirds yet. You know, anyway, for this cause, excuse me, verse 10, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, say of the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind. See, mind in the Hebrew word there is lob. All right. All right. I wanted to make a quick point. I wanted to go into that word mind. And this is the Greek word. Strong's G 1271. Dianoia. Dianoia. All right. Dianoia. Dianoia. And it says the mind as a faculty of understanding, feeling, desiring, understanding. It says mind, i.e. Uh, spirit, way of thinking and feeling. It says thoughts, either good or bad. It says mind, understanding, imagination. All right, now let me go into the root word here in G3563, etymology root word, and this is Strong's G 3563. Noose. Noose. And it says the mind comparison alike the faculties of perceiving and understanding and those of feeling, judging, determining. 
the the elect the intellectual faculty the understanding it says reason in the narrower sense as the capacity for spiritual truth the higher powers of the soul the faculty of perceiving divine things of recognizing goodness and of hating evil the power of considering and judging soberly calmly and impartially it says a a particular mode of thinking and judging thoughts feelings purposes desires because it's going to be in our inward parts all right with understanding as it keeps giving us that definition all right understanding it says let me read this again it says the mind comparison alike the faculties of perceiving and understanding and those of feeling judging determining the intellectual faculty the understanding it says uh, b reason in the narrow sense as a capacity for spiritual truth the higher power pow, the higher powers of the soul the faculty of perceiving divine things of recognizing goodness and of hating evil because we're going to have it in our inward parts we're not going to have to tell each other repent because it's going to be already there it says of recognizing goodness and of hating evil the scriptures say hate the evil love the good now it says see the power of considering and judging soberly calmly and impartially it says a particular mode of thinking and judging because we're going to be what divine judges all right israel is going to be made perfect man we're not perfect now we're going to be made perfect right it says um in particular a particular mode of thinking and judging judging according to the law it says thoughts see our thoughts are going to be righteous you know how the scriptures say in the precept uh the mind is desperately wicked well our mind is not going to be wicked anymore we're not going to have those wicked thoughts that cross our minds thinking of the stupid shit man demons are not going to whisper in our ear to make us go off all right because the flesh is going to be at one with your spirit man it says um a particular mode of thinking and judging thoughts feelings even how you feel you know <laughs> excuse me even how you feel in the kingdom we always going to feel good because the lord said he will wipe away the tears from our eyes right it says purposes desires all our desires are going to be righteous man you ain't gonna have that desire of, uh, of of wicked pleasure, you know, breaking the law. You ain't gonna have that taste of sin anymore because why? As Apostle Paul said, we shall defeat the sting of death. We haven't even defeated the sting of death yet. You see, this is why we tell you here at Great Millstone that we are under grace and a new covenant has not been activated yet. All right, so don't listen to those guys, man. Um, uh, and it just keeps going into Strong's definition. It says, uh, the intelligent, excuse me, the intellect, excuse me, the intellect, mind, divine or human, and thought, feeling, or will, by implication meaning mind, understanding. All right, that, that word understanding keeps coming back up. So we're going to have perfect understanding. All right. It says, and write them in their hearts, which is the mind. And I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. Let's continue. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor. Uh-oh. And every man his brother. Saying, know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. So this means that if the laws were written in our inward parts and a, a new covenant was activated, we wouldn't have to prophesize. You, <laughs> you wouldn't be out there holding camp. What you holding camp for? What you holding camp for? <laughs> oh man, this is silly, man. Fucking silly, man. 
What are you holding camp for? <laughs> well, we got camp tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. Today's Friday. You know? What are we holding camp for and telling our people to repent? You know, get right. Why is the Lord still awakening? The, awakening uh, he, he has this great awakening going on. Why? Why? If we in the new covenant. Why? It doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. <laughs> it's like, dudes, y'all, what's wrong with y'all? All you got to do is read. That's why the scriptures say, uh, uh, blessed he that readeth, man. The water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, man. All right? The water, the water, the water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. All right? Because this stuff is laughable. It's so funny. It's so funny because it's silly, you know? Anyway, it says, um, verse 11, and they shall not teach every man his neighbor. Oh my God. Let's read, um, let's see what the NK, the New King James Version. Why do I have this on here? Matter of fact, bear with me one second. It's my other phone. Um, Bibles. I want to let me see something. I'm just looking for a different Bible app. Okay, that's the the Eng, the English standard the English standard standard uh, version. Excuse me. Let me use that one. Okay, here we go. So let's read this. Um, for this is the covenant. This is verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. Declare the Lord, declares the Lord, I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts. And I will be their power and they shall be my people. Verse 11. And they shall not teach each one his neighbor, same thing, and each one his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them to the greatest. It's the same thing. So let's continue. Verse 12. I'm going back to the King James Version. For I, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Mm. It says, in that he say a new covenant, he have made the first old, now that which decayeth and wax of old is ready to vanish away. Now I'm going to read the ESV version, verse 12. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. It says, in speaking of the new, a new covenant, he maketh the first one obsolete. And what is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to vanish away. So it's the same thing. All right. So verse 12 says, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. All right. So if the Lord is not going to remember our sins, then we should be perfect right now. If we if the new covenant is activated, if we in the new covenant. All right. If we in the new covenant and it's activated, the Lord have forgave us already. So really, these guys saying this is really making me think of Christianity, because what Christianity teaches is that Jesus Christ died for their sins so they could do whatever the hell they want. So according to Christianity. All right. They, they pray unto J.C. And they figured they could eat pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. You know, they, they can they can party hard. They can do whatever they want. They can be moles and transformers. But if they go to church on Sunday and praise JC, God is good. You know, the Lord knows their heart. That's sort of the same shit. You know, you guys that call yourself Hebrews, 
prophets, really you false prophets, for teaching lies. This is a lie. We're not un we're under grace. All right. We're not under. Well, excuse me. We're under grace, and the new covenant is not activated yet. Activated, not just yet. We looking forward to this covenant to be activated. We want it to be activated now. We. I wish we was. I wish we was. No more sickness. No more sorrow. No more crying. All right. No more hurt. No more pain. No more your woman committing adultery, going against you, serpent authority. You know, no more ninja getting killed. Dudes in Chicago killing each other left and right. They still Israelites. They might not care to be Israelites, but what about those people? See, we, we thinking about us, right? Because we know the truth. What about the rest of Israel out here? I'm looking at Israelites. So I sit in this car right here. What about these people that's going about their every day? You know, they Israelites too. <coughs> the covenant, they not... It's not activated yet. We still going holding camp and telling our people to repent, man. So that's that, man. You know, I got excited. You know, it's all good. Especially after being uh sick. You know, I'm happy to feel myself again. You know, not feel myself in a wicked way, meaning I actually can, you know, be myself again because it's finally getting up out of my system, this sickness, man. And uh, that's why it's important to pray, brothers. You know, you few sisters pray for the brothers, and brothers, man, we pray for you. We pray for all of y'all, for the elect. You know, so I'm just thankful, man. The water you how about Shimmy how shy for feeling okay again. You know, getting back on on board and getting back on the wheel. All right, to push these lessons and shows. You know, to edify. Hopefully, you're edified, man. So you know, this right here is a quick report I wanted to bring up. It's quick. This is from Dabu. Posted it today. And um, let's just play the video. Matter of fact, the title is Get Ready for Lights Out. WEF's Kyle Slobs warns what is coming. All right. Pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen... Man, Slocky, we got to get through this. We got to get through this. Mm. Lord still got me on that, man. Hold on, man. Um... It's the book of Revelations chapter 21. And I'm going to start at verse 1. You know, it says, Revelate, and I'll play this video back. All right. Because this is coming. All right. See, we look at the real true prophets, men of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is looking forward of prophecy coming to pass, man. We're looking forward of Jacob's trouble coming to pass. We're looking forward to seeing Esau force that karagma, man, that MOTB. Because when these things get fulfilled, even World War Three. This is why we speak about it so much. You know, this is why we keep constantly doing shows on it. You know, keep putting it out there, the news. Because you can get distracted with all the rest of the stuff that's going on. But more importantly, it's the prophecies, man. It's the prophecies. And that's how you know, uh, you know, for guys that are new, you're just coming around to this thing. You know, you don't know who got the truth and who don't. You're watching two camps go back and forth we're not even it's not even a back and forth you see in great millstone rebuke these false prophets you might be over there watching their videos you might even woke up to the fact that you're an israelite and started watching them first and then the lord have it to where these false prophets go off the lord have his true prophets reproving them rebuking them and then you get to go who them guys and then you go oh shit then you check out their videos and now you like oh which one well, the Lord is going to guide his elect, all right, in the right way, okay? His elect, those that he, he's find, he will find worthy to be delivered, okay? That he have um, already uh, numbered them to be delivered, man, and to be good. Excuse me, all right? 
So this is important. All right. Let me get back to the scripture because I'm losing my train of thought. Revelations chapter 21 and 1. It says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And there was no more sea. See, we're still waiting upon the Lord to destroy this place, man. <sighs> All right. So the new covenant is not activated yet. We're still looking forward to the Lord destroying this place. We're still in sinful flesh. Still get sick. You can still die. You still get hurt. You still get sad. You still get ran over. All right. And we got to sit here and take it. Because why? Even our Lord suffered. This is not our rest. It is polluted. It shall lead to a sore destruction. So we're suffering patiently waiting upon our Lord to change us, man. To activate the new covenant. But we got to wait for these things to come to pass. And I saw, and it says, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of the most high is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and the most high himself shall be with them and be their power and the most high shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away and we still haven't gotten into Jacob's trouble yet you see, it says, verse five, it says, and he that sat upon the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, right, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, it is done. I am alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. And I will, and I will give, excuse me, I, I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely he that overcometh shall inherit all things and will be and i will be his power and he shall be my son but the fearful and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars like you false prophets it says shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. So we haven't even got out of the second death yet, man. How in the hell could we be, how could a new covenant be activated right now? The second death haven't even manifest yet. This is going into the second death. When the Lord destroys Babylon the Great, man. All right, and destroys two thirds of his people. All right, so like, yeah, I lost a little bit of memory, so. I'm back at back at it again. The point I was making was we're not the, the new covenant is not activated yet, man. All right? Because we haven't even got past the second death yet. All right? The second death is on its way. All right? So, let's go back and continue this this video and hopefully we get through this. Pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario for comprehensive cyber attack which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison. Now listen up, man. Hey, I'm going I'm to I'm play the video back again, all right? Listen closely to what Kyle Slobs is saying. This is one of your world leaders, spokesman for the world leaders. All right. And they got a big uh, uh, um, WEF tomorrow. All right. World Economic Forum tomorrow uh, on the weekend. You know, and I think this said this is one of the largest ones. They even got FBI. Uh, I was watching uh, Redacted. 
Redacted mentioned he had, gave you a little bit of scoop of who gonna be there, and they said uh, one of the top, the top, um, I guess, advisor uh, of of the FBI, you know. And then they were speaking about the CIA and all that stuff being there, and they were saying why is these guys being invited to the economic forum? That's because Kyle Slobman and them are pulling all of the corporations that they have, the administrations, the top guys all on board. You know, <clears throat> so this is big. It's huge, man. And more reports gonna come out to, to see what they was talk, what they gonna be talking about. But listen to what he's telling you, man. See these guys, certain guys that call themselves prophets, they don't even know what's going on in the world. You know. So listen, man. Let's play it back again because this is an older clip. He said this, but now you're starting to see what he's talking about. He said, "What's." What, what could possibly be bigger than the CEO, man, that they had us go through in the year 2020? He telling you, so listen up. Hey. And these dudes talking about uh, we're in a new covenant. The new covenant is activated. It ain't activated yet. It's still, I just read the scriptures, you know. It's still going to be crying, mourning, death. The Lord said he would take those things away. Anyway. Insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. And that is yeah. cool. You remember the slogan of Joe Biden, build back better. All right. You know, there's, there's a, a, a plan and the plan is already at work. You know, this is stuff we always talk about. All right. Breaking down these things because this is that NWO that they're installing. And they need to have all the people, all right, in a, in a certain way so they can control you. What he is going after is full control, all right? He wants full control. He wants to bring in a new system, this digital system. They got the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency they want to roll out, <clears throat> the carbon footprint, social credit, all right, uh, the artificial intelligence ruling uh, uh, over you with algorithm, you know? They want to do these things so they can have full control over everywhere you live. Yesterday, I got her reports and I showed you guys in a video on how they're talking about calling back all the uh, the gas stoves. You know, they want to put just electric because now if they're going to regulate and control your gas or excuse me, control your, your electricity the way they want to and down to the smallest things, meaning they want to control the, every, the things that you eat, the things that you buy. You know, for an example, if if you got the funds and you working and you made your money and you want to go to the store on Monday and get you a, um, you know, <coughs> turkey and cheese sandwich. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to get a turkey and cheese sandwich. Let's say you get it Monday on break. Then Tuesday you get another one. Throughout the rest of the week, they're not going to allow you to eat a turkey and cheese until the next following Monday, even if you got the funds to buy it again they want to control your life in that way all right so just imagine when you at home they controlling your water they was talking about controlling the water you know controlling your foods i mean controlling uh if they could control your electric like that they might even tell you got a ration on on water you know you might you got cook you know you got to sink water you know you try to make your food and shit or then you got bath water Let's just say these devils, they have it where you have to ration. You have to really plan out whether to take a long bath or short bath just to calculate with cooking food, for, with water for, for your food, man. You know, this this is the regulation, the, the regulating that they want to do. This full control. Not only that, they want you to be a uh, sea hit so they can actually uh, GPS you. They can identify you wherever you walk in this earth. You could be identified, man. 
all right they can tap into your uh what you ate okay you ate pizza they want to know if they want to tap into they want to hack your body to where they can go into you and see okay what is your blood pressure you know and this and that oh you can't eat pizza anymore because your blood pressure is high or whatever you know they, they got <laughs> esau is a fucking devil man all right so a swab warning the whole world of what they're about to do because they telegraph all their moves this is going to be among one of the next big events that the world is going to see you can guarantee that here amongst this series of events that is being rolled out in what they're calling the great reset all coming from Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates and all these goons from Davos and Switzerland that has brought in some 5,000 troops to protect them up there while they speak the writing is on the wall for all the people that have missed this and don't understand what is about to happen they're about to put the lights out I've warned about it for a decade it's about to go down and then the conversion over to the CBDC with the American dollar some of the biggest events of your life are about to unfold and they're about to get these other events pop in here so they can have this all locked down by 2030 but now Klaus Schwab has just told everyone what is coming so that you know so you're not wondering when it happens and it will be the same hand that does all the stuff that is responsible when it happens there won't be no more going and finding videos going and watching live streams trying to get information everyone will be in the dark and on their own with what they have Join me for the live streams where I break this down further and we talk about this censorship free. Or join me at the Knowledge Conference, our own meetup in the flesh before it's all said and done. Where we're going to talk about things like this truly censorship free. And try to get everybody squared away with the plan on how to survive these upcoming events. Right. Email me, Dabu. You know, that's the point, man. You could go to Dabu's page as well and uh, watch this video again. But uh, I'm going to close with this scripture here. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up. That's the point. So it says, for the vision, all right, which is prophecy, is appointed, excuse me, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. All right, the prophecy is appointed. <coughs> the prophecy is appointed at a certain time. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. Let me go there real quick. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak. A time of love and a time of hate, a time of war and a time of peace. So Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 says to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, man. All right. So there's a time. All right. And season for a purpose under the heaven. And we're going to go back to Hebrew, uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. All right. The, the MOTB is speaking. World War Three is speaking. Jacob's trouble is speaking. OK, this is prophecy. This is that vision. It says for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Meaning it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. It's not lying. It's evident. We know what the MOTB is. We know it's the Karagma, the C-Hip. Other guys can play games all they want. Do damage control all you think. 
but they're gonna be the same ones with that that MOTB being destroyed too. All right. Jacob's trouble was coming. Guys out here chasing the bag. You know, you got uh idiots talking about, you know, the new covenant is activated. You know, these guys are foolish, man. These guys are foolish, man. You're supposed to be in the right spirit, not the wrong spirit. This is the time to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Ask the Lord for mercy, grace, man. Because we're in a time of grace. Then when the Lord, you know, manifests this second death, we're going to be changed, man. We're going to be made perfect in the no, the new covenant is going to be activated No more crying No more sorrow man Alright Prophecy has to be fulfilled So it says For the vision is yet for an appointed time But at the end it shall speak And not lie Though it tarry Wait for it Because it will surely come It will not tarry Alright So though it, it tarries a little bit You know Distractions uh, go on You get distracted Alright But the Lord sent forth the prophets To keep reminding you What time it is man uh, Second Edges the ninth chapter Measure thou the time diligently in itself And when thou seest parts of the times past When thou have us um, Matter of fact let me get it <clears throat> Cause I was about to butcher it I just want to quote it real quick um, this is um, Surat, Second Edges, excuse me, Second Edges, chapter nine and one. It says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the the, the world which he made." Therefore, there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Then shall thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Uh, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and ending endings in effects and signs and oh gotta get this one verse seven and every one and every one that shall be saved and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways <coughs> and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments man alright so you know go ahead and take this um this truth and despise the the ways of the Lord and, and you know do what you want to do but you're going to be as the scriptures say in pitiful case right and he says and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments you know because you're going to take that karagma and when you take that karagma the Lord is going to judge you all right as the scriptures say according to his indignation his righteous anger all right, he's going to have you in that fire and brimstone, man. You know, getting hit with thermonuclear missiles. So basically, anybody who take that karagma, all right, they got a missile with their name on it. You know? So, Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying, man. That's all I got. I'm going to wrap it up. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, double honors to my apostles, bishops. Of great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. Shalom.